Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tom Burkhardt from Car Revs Daily. We're at the Meekum Auctions in Kissimmee, Florida. It's uh, late January 2015, and we're doing a quick walk around with some exclusive access to uh, the Wellborn Muscle Car Collection, which is one of the highlights of the Meekum 2015 Kissimmee, Florida auctions. This is a collection of about 20 or 30 amazing muscle cars. Uh, a lot of Hemi representation here. So let's, but uh, but you know, you do have some some good other other uh, Chevy and Buick and Ford vehicles in the mix. Um, so let's start right here. We got a Chevrolet SS, Camaro's big badass older brother. Over here we have a, a 71 uh, Hemi Super B. And they're all beautiful. I mean, they're from this Wellborn Muscle Car Museum collection, which really is uh, an exceptional group of vehicles. The, uh, the owner is, is actually at the auction right now looking for more new cars now that he's selling all this Mopar stuff. Um, here we have a 71 he Dodge Hemi Super B. Another Super B there, but different colors. We're at the Mecham auction. We can do a quick fly around here. In just one of the rooms, this is the advertised as the biggest classic car auction in the world. And you really believe it. I think they're selling something like 16,000 cars um, over the course of 10 days. So here's a real nice one. This is um, a 1970 Buick GSX, staged one. Fantastic looking vehicle. Obviously shares a lot with, uh, with the Chevrolet uh, Chevelle SS we saw just a minute ago. Here we have a, um, a 71 Dodge Charger. It's a 426 RT pilot car. So that was one of the first vehicles ever built. This is, a, this is a 67 Dodge Charger. I believe this is the, I'm not sure the details on this one. It's just the, so it's a 426. Let's look for more details. Covering these cars before the auction, it was incredible because there were so many Dodge Chargers and, uh, and Hemi Cudas that it really was, uh, is, was outrageous. Okay, so this was the, the original 1967 Dodge uh, Charger show car. So after some of the 66 concepts, uh, this, was the, this was the production intent model. Moving right along, we've got a 1970 um, Plymouth Hemi Cuda here. This is the AAR Cuda. So that is the, uh, the, a racing version of the vehicle. You can see from the, from the scoops and the slats, as well as the, uh, the ducktail spoiler in back. Here we've got one of the very few Ford vehicles in the collection. This is... Um, I believe, uh, okay, we've got a 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 402 Fastback. This is in a really incredible car. These are all going to go across the block tomorrow at Mecham Auctions in Florida. And for Ford fans, I mean, this was obviously the Ford that's in the collection. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's obviously heavily represented by Mopar and, um, and all things Chrysler Performance. A nice 1996 Dodge Viper GTS Coupe. This one is in flawless condition. He really took great care of this. Remember when the GTS came out? I mean, it was so exciting. It had so much overtones of the original Shelby Cobra and the uh, Shelby Daytona. So, and it really, it even stirred more excitement than, um, or I would say at least the same amount of excitement as the, uh, the original Viper Roadster. So, keeping it moving, we've also got some great Trans Am representation here. This is the first, uh, <laughs> the first one we'll, we'll touch on. We've got a few more down the, down the walk. This was uh, actually Burt Reynolds, uh, his personal car. So when he, after he was shooting Smokey and the Bandit, this was the car that he was riding around in afterwards. Um, owned it for a while, it's in beautiful condition. Really rich, wonderful black paint. Black paint, you know, that's very difficult to make these days because of, um, for pollution reasons. Got a 1978 Pontiac Trans Am with the T-tops there. I believe his was an automatic. Yeah, it's an automatic, but still fantastic. You got the CV, CV high tower there and a Bandit 22 license plate for the Pontiac Trans Am. Keeping it moving, we've got a, uh, a Dodge Charger 346 pack. This is the TA, I believe this is a 71 or 72. Oh, just kidding, 1970. Stunning, fantastic stuff. Okay, we've got 1970 Dodge Charger TA, okay. Cool, so this next car is pretty special as well. Another Hollywood 
connection. This was uh, a movie car from, um, uh, it's, it's slipping my mind right now, but it's obviously a 1978 Pontiac Firebird. Um, and it's from uh, James Garner's TV show. Let me, let me try to ask somebody. Um, the, uh, oh God, it's slipping my mind. This is gonna kill me later. Is the, the f what was the turn? What was the TV show with uh, with James Garner? Yeah. And what was it called? Uh, I don't remember anymore. He would do the J-turn? Yeah, yeah. He would yeah. do the turn? Well, now let's ask some other people. One of the great things about an auction like this is it, it's all hardcore car guys. What was the TV show? Oh, Rockford Files. Sorry, just, just remembered it. All right, so it was, uh, it was the Rockford Files. So this was uh, the actual vehicle that they used filming production for 1978, 1979, and 1980. Um, they used this vehicle because uh, for, the, for two years after that because uh, Garner, who played uh, Detective Rockford, didn't really like the restyle. So they took off the, uh, the spoiler of one of the more loaded editions and made it look like the base Firebird. And this, uh, this vehicle appeared on film, you know, hundreds of times as they shot all those detective episodes. The Rockford Files, Files was, uh, was bar none one of the best 1970s cop dramas and lasted well into the 80s as a result. So we've got, got a really classic color on this vehicle. Um, it's, it's really a stunner, even without some of the, uh, the upgraded speed pack of the, uh, the TA and, um, and this, this stunner next to us. So we've got a 78 Trans Am SE here with full Firebird kit, 6.6 .6 liter reverse hood scoop coming out right there. Fantastic shimmery silver gold paintwork. T-tops on this as well, cloth interior, five speed or four speed manual transmission. Really cool, really cool. This one's gonna be go for some big money because it's uh you know it has the the amazing Trans Am iconography outside, but it's a stick shift and uh, and and is not a, a Hollywood production car. It's just a classic muscle car. This one is fantastic. I like this. I don't know if I would go for it over the black, but uh, but having a, a stick shift is a lot better than a manual, obviously. So we'll keep going around the outside really quickly here. Actually, you know what, let's sign it off for this one. We'll come back and, uh, and cover uh, a few more vehicles from the Wellborn Muscle Car Collection here at Mecham Auctions in Kissimmee, Florida, 2015. All right, this is Tom Burkhart from Car Revs Daily. We'll see you soon.